Previously on Escape the Night, as the night is getting near its end, Matt returns from the dead, and the group enters the Carnival Master's Funhouse to cleanse the next artifact. <sighs> Carnival Master corrupted one of you. And are quickly captured by its caretaker. Sophia and Ro escape and vote two into the challenge to die. Or so they think. The sad news is you both get to live. But the Funhouse uses different rules. Why are you here? We didn't go on the challenge. <coughs> <coughs> She got what she deserved. If that was me, would you be acting the same? And the world will know you are my queens of darkness. Oh, I need you to love me more than you love your life. I do. Bitches took my brother and I want him back now! No! I get what I want. Boo! Curse this town. And everyone in it. Fair row. She, she didn't have a chance. They thought they could make us apart. Are you kidding? Shh, We're in this together. Okay, guys, enough. None of us are gonna get out of here alive if we don't start working together. So on one hand, we have Nikita and Manny who are acting like the mean girls of the group, and then we have Ro and Matt who are like the Boy Scouts, and then there's me who just wants to go home. Look, I know you probably don't like me. I never said I don't like you. I just don't like the side of you that I'm starting to see come out, okay? I can see both sides, but I definitely understand where Matt is coming from. There's no shame in being a survivor, but then there's also a choice to gloat about it and smile when your friends die. You seem darker, more competitive. You don't understand what I was going through. And I I'm, do! I, I, I'm not arguing about it. Okay, guys, okay. we don't we don't have time for this. It's fine. Okay? okay? We need to find the next artifact. Let's look at the map and see what we have to do. We have to move forward with the mission. We pull the map off the wall and we see that there are suddenly three new areas on it. We have the gas station, the cemetery, and a bridge that leads to the cemetery, and we're thinking, okay, where the hell are we going next? Where should we start? Burned at the stake sounds exciting. Dead lovers. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? I don't know. Oh my God, where, what the heck? What's going on? Where, where are you that? coming from? They're gonna burn him alive. Who? Burn, burn. Burn. What? We don't have time for this anymore. What are you talking We've been about? Come, this on, come, on, yeah. come on. We go to the pump station running, of course. There's some crazy guy tied up in a very nice suit, but with a hood on. My immediate thing is like, why do you have a little thing over your face? Can I look? Can I take a peek at me? She'll be back soon to burn me. Who's gonna burn you? One of the witches. She'll be back the soon witches? to burn me. You have to find the key. Where? Hey, look Which around. The I don't know. Where's the key? Okay, guys, what up? We I don't know. Find the key. So we're kind of like looking around and we start to realize there's like a big, weird, like bloody ritual that's going on in the gas station. There's like blood everywhere. Are we sure we want to help this guy? Look, he's going to be burned alive. Oh, what am I? Who is he? Everyone that we've met in this town is evil. We can only keep pushing forward. We can only keep pushing forward. Great. Oh my gosh, what is this? Not a key. Whoa. Oh, who is this? We guys, it's all oh, symbols, it's and symbol. it looks like a, an equation of some sort. So we eventually find these symbols that 
correlate to a certain number. I found one. I'm not really good at math, and honestly, when I look at numbers, that's what I see, those symbols. So I'm gonna leave that to homeboy math. Ro and Nikita, look for two J's. They're like two fish hooked two opposite J's. each other. Okay. Two J's. Yeah, we're missing that one. Missing that one, okay. Be 25. strong. I know something is happening to you. you know, right I'm there? fine, I'm fine. Mortimer? I'm fine. Find the key. This reads as pretty sketchy. My detective senses are on high alert. Okay, I think we have them all. Okay. So while well, Joey and I solve the math equations on the hood of the car, Manny's over there testing the numbers into the lock. 98 counterclockwise. They're coming back. You have to hurry. We're trying, sir. Uh, we don't even know who you are. And then it says pull to open. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oh! I did not expect to open up a safe and get sprayed by something, and I'm covered in this dust, and I see a little man made out of wicker. I think this is something. The witch don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, no! I've seen enough Blair Witch Project to know you don't go grabbing weird stick creatures in the middle of the forest. Heck no. So I say, hey, let's stop and read the note. Here's the key, here's the key. We the, this. the witches are using the wicker man to curse the people of Everlock. The note tells us that a coven of witches have been using this wicker man to curse people in the town, and that to cleanse this artifact, we would have to reverse three of those curses. Do we want Should we unlock one? him? We have yes, the keys, yes, yes, Okay, yes. Well, let's put it to a vote. Manny, don't worry. Do we trust on, this please. guy? Why wouldn't we want to release the sketchy person with a bag over his head that we literally know nothing about? And he's got to be one of the curses. You know, if I was in that situation, I would hope someone would free me. I mean, technically, I don't really know what he looks like, but he just, like, his body's cute, so I'm like, we should save him. Okay, ready? Okay, we help Freedom. you. You help us now. Freedom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what oh, happened yeah, to you? Fine. What are you looking at? Well, you, you look... never seen a guy with a pig face before? I've seen one before. I have. The young witch cursed me. Is there a spell to break the curse? The curse, the same Wait, curse you have? Wait, hold on, have? hold on. They got you too. I realized I just got sprayed with a freaking curse, but I feel completely fine right now. Now a curse takes time to manifest. That's something. Why do you feel like a pig sometimes? Wait, 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 wait. what is it? I took something from the witches. So Mr. Pigman grabs a spell book from inside of his car, which I'm like, can we just go in the car and get out of this town? But of course not. And as soon as he pulls that damn thing out, <laughs> what? We're booking it to freaking Batman Slims and we get in there, we just escape. So we roll out the piece of parchment onto the table and we see that there's a diagram with all of these different curses that we're gonna have to need to reverse. An amulet of youth, a ring from a dead man, and the bloody snout of a pig. You're the only one with a snout. This is a curse. So if we reverse your curse, can we have your snout? I thought everyone had gone home. I'm thinking, uh, hello, this could be a bruja. My Mexican mama taught me about those things, honey. We don't mess with cocuis, and we don't mess with brujas. The witches killed my brother with their curse, and then stole my youth. Look at me, I look like a goddamn hag. I love your overalls. Yeah, super cute. Corduroy. How can we help you? You're and silver hair is in. Mm -hmm. Very. Oh, she's just the cutest old lady ever. How can you not want to help her? Guys, you? guys, guys, guys. There's a, there's a resurrection spell in here. Where do we find him? His bones are, are in the cemetery. Okay. We have the swine undone, we have the resurrection spell, and we have the transformation spell. Yes, the transformation spell will help you disguise yourself to look like one of the witch's lovers. Oh. Okay. Yes. We have a lot of things to accomplish, and there's not many of us, so we're gonna have to definitely split up here. So who wants to come with me to help Pigface over here? I gotcha. Guys, let's do it. We got a mess. So we're like, okay, let's just rip out these two pages. We have the reverse the swine spell and we have the invisibility spell. And we're like, okay, cool. We can do this. Don't get tagged again. Don't screw it up. All right, guys. <laughs> so, I don't know where to begin. All of a sudden, a witch pops in and we realize we need to hide somewhere. Otherwise, we could be next. Where do they go, old lady? Tell me. You know what I can do. Ugh. I don't have time for this. I've got to go meet my lover. Oh, my God. Guys, she's gone. That was the witch who killed my brother. That filthy witch bitch. She saves the bones of her victims in the cemetery. She lures men there at night and has her way with them before killing them. All right, listen up, guys. To bring someone back 
from the grave, you will need to place their bones in a ritual urn and surrounded by emblems of four elements, which lie hidden in plain sight. Come on, let's find this. Uh, soil of the sun. We're searching inside of Fat Man's lands, trying to find all sorts of elements. Soil of the sun, sunflower. So this is like Earth. I found a fan. Is it wind? Yes, exactly, bro. Wait, do you think it's this? A lighter. A lighter, yeah. Petrified rain, what does that mean? Probably with the liquid. A water bottle, that's petrified rain. A water bottle? That's purified. Would it be an ice? It wouldn't be an ice cube, would it? Wait, petrified, yes. We have all four elements, and we have the proper spell we need in order to bring and resurrect Homeboy back from the grave. To bring someone back from the grave, you will need to place their bones in a ritual urn. Oh, we need to put the bones in the, the urn. Bones. We have to transform you. That was a transformation. We have to. I have to get the bones? OK. Yes, yes, absolutely. Guys, witches, come here. Curse the innocent. Redeem the evil. Open the sky and pour out your darkness that we might see your wicked ways. All right, come on. What does this spell book say? We need to find a cloak and white sand. And what does this one say? And this one, swine undone. Elk's blood, Yeti's milk, and salamander eyeballs in a silver flask. We see a huge shelf of ingredients and assume what we need is probably gonna be there. The downside, though, is that we also see two witches right next to that shelf of ingredients. They're too busy casting spells, but they don't seem to be going anywhere. They don't seem to be moving. They might be distracted while they're casting their spells. Oh, while casting the spell. I think you're right. We realize that basically while they're casting, they're distracted. So we can kind of get around them while they're casting a spell. Remember, cloak. Oh, Point, the witches catch wind that we're there and all bets are off. We just have to sprint and run for our lives, trying to distract them away from each other. Hey, you can run, but you can't hide. Apparently not. Sister! I got the cloak, Manny. Good job. Okay. <laughs> I've been running so long, but I'm just exhausted. Don't. Come on. Useless. Think you're so bad? Can't even cast a magic spell at me, and I'm just inches away from you. Come on! Oh, get him. Back Back on. I give myself up to the witches. In doing so, I draw them away from Manny, but I get cursed too. Be gone! What that means, I don't really know, but it can't be anything good. We race over to the cemetery, but before we do so, Ro and I have to read the transformation spell and transform Joey which oh, I really don't know if our fate is really well rested in the hands of Joey in this moment, but we, that's all we got at this point. With this spell, we recite, let thou walk, walk as, as them, them tonight. Do you feel any different? No. I still feel like me, and that's not a good thing, because guess what? I'm gay. Straight Joey is gonna have to come out for a quick moment, so be prepared. That's good, that's very good. Nice, Joey. Go get him, lover nice. boy. You got this. Hey, what's up? Hey, lover boy. How's it going? Good, I've been waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, come so, me. uh, okay. I am shaking in my boots. I feel like she can sniff the gay rate off me. Tell me a poem. Um, uh, bones are good, bones are fun. Don't you just love to tell me where the bones are? Take these hands out of your pocket, baby. Okay. I'm like, whoa, 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 calm down. Let's pause for a moment. Where are those bones at? Uh, you know what, I have a kink. Please, tell me all about it. So, I really am into bones. Tell me more. Well, um, big bones, small bones, any kind of bone, really, I'll, I'll be happy with. She was definitely getting very frisky. Things were moving very quickly. And I'm waiting for the signal so I can know which box I'm supposed to grab with the bones. OK. Um, Do you love me? Yeah, of course I love you. You're, you're the most beautiful witch I've ever seen. More than your wife? Yes, definitely nice more than She is very sexual. OK, baby, come with me. OK. Yeah. 
These are your bones. These ones right here? These are the bones that you want. Okay. So come with me now. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah. You love me? Yeah, I love you. Let's go. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh it's, it's a little too cold to unbutton. Uh, you're no fun. What do you mean I'm no fun? Take it off. Show me how much you love me. Uh, you know what? What is that? I actually... What is that? I think I actually... I just remembered I actually... Is this a ruse? No. Get away from me! Ah! Go! Go, go, go! So now that we have all the elements and we have the bones, we can finally do the incantation to bring Sam back to life. These are the bones. We need to put the bones in the urn. I feel like my powers and my energy in general is really flourishing in this crazy ass town. And I think it's really, really cool. I'm definitely gonna have to tweet about it later. What was once lost, lost returns, returns, returns with no cost. cost. Soul sent, sent to the, the gate. Gate? That's gate. Okay, let's redo it. Okay. What, what once, once was lost, lost returns, returns with, with no cost. cost. Soul sent, sent to the gate, gate rebel, rebel against, against you. you. Faith restores the, the body whole. whole. Your the life renewed a new, a new soul. soul. Ah! Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hello. Oh. I mean, for a dead man, he was looking pretty cute. After all that flirting with a woman and a witch, I finally got rewarded. Can I just say something, sir? You what? look amazing. Um, you're not wearing that much clothing, but I do see a ring. Yeah, so, um, I think we should... Come on, come on. Come on. No, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Here, take it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's go. Thank Goodbye, you. sir. What do you have? I have nothing. We found a cloak. I had random, random oils, nothing. Tried to grab literally everything that I could find. So we're looking over at them and we're thinking, okay, what the hell's going on? One walks over to a sundial and we think, okay, this is kind of weird, but she walks over it, she does something to it and she walks back. We're like, okay, let's go ahead and run over to the sundial and see what it has. We run over and it has one of our ingredients for our invisibility cloak. Okay, we got it, come on. Maybe we should have been focusing our search for the invisibility cloak around the edges, not straight in the middle. And that was correct. We got everything. And I put on the little cloak, we cast a spell, and I turn invisible. And I'm like, living the full fantasy. I'm like, do I go to the boys' locker room? I didn't really know what to do. You know, I'm invisible. Like, I can do anything. This is only gonna last five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes? You got it. We'll be here. Go for it, Manny. You got this. I walk in, and there's like this big pillar, and I'm looking through the entire pillar, and there's nothing that we need. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Not a single ingredient I need? That's impossible. You gotta hurry, Manny. So, Mortimer, are you feeling okay, buddy? You know, it's been a long night. It's been a long night for all of us. We just gotta get through this. Yeah, I agree. You've proven your trust to us tonight. I was skeptical of you at first, but don't, I don't want you going and betraying us, all right? Of course. If there's anything we can do to help, let, me, let us know. Thanks. Of course. Well, who would have realized that being invisible would be so challenging? So I'm looking around, looking around, and I see this briefcase on the floor, and I'm like, you all some smart bitch witches. I see what you did there. So I go into the briefcase and I realize that it has literally everything that we need. I grab every single ingredient and I run for my life. And we run over to Fat Man Slims. Where is everyone? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, hey. hey. Hey, you. Hey, buddy. You got your supplies. You mix it up, guys. We basically mix the entire potion. We cast a spell and we give it to him. We're like, drink this right now. Please work. Go for it. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Please I hope work. you guys did this right. I've cured snake's venom tonight. How's the taste? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he starts going to this full convulsion, and I'm like, girl, get some water. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, you're okay! I can't believe you guys pulled it off. <gasps> oh, oh my god, the nose. I owe you one. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Stay away from but witches, so alright, my man? <laughs> Stay away from witches. That was a little violent, honestly. Ah. I don't <gasps> know who you are. Oh my gosh. Or what you think you're oh doing God. here. But if you don't show yourselves, I'll slit this bitch's throat right now. So the witches have Maria and they're about to kill her and I tell Ro, now's her chance. She can go and convince the witches to let Maria go. 
You got it right. Okay. Go okay. Say hi. Seems like they don't care very much about you. That's what happens when you get old. Hey, hey, ladies. Let me talk to these witches. I go to a lot of events. I do a lot of socializing. Good evening. You guys are doing great curses all over the town. I love your outfits and horns. Everything's looking really great. I just need to borrow her. I know you guys are so busy, so I don't want to, like, waste your time. Would you like to trade places with her? Maybe later. The witches are not feeling my vibe. They are not friendly witches. You don't belong in this town. Who are you telling? I know, and I you agree. I better agree. leave. I will. I'm just going to take her Before with me. Before I tear you open, okay. watch okay. to throat. Can you believe that? I didn't even know those witches' names. They should wear name tags, because I didn't know which witch is which. That's, That's enough. Right now, I just need to take her. <gasps> oh, shit. They've cursed her. I'm really trying to just grab a hold of Maria and just kind of slink away. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my hey, gosh. Ro. Hey, hey. Hi. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? From a bunch of wishes, I think I got cursed. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I just annoyed him wait, really good. Wait, you got cursed? Come on, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. What'd you get? What do you have? I got the ring. You guys got the nose. We did. We got the nose. Yeah, it's already okay. down. We resurrected your fine-ass brother, by the way. Oh How fine are we talking, though? <laughs> Very. Really oh cute. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, this is new. Those of you who have been cursed must now pay the price. To reverse the third curse, you must recover the amulet of youth by passing through the witch's tangled skein. The last one to complete it will pay with their life. So we realize that everyone who's been cursed throughout this whole process is going into the final death challenge. Wait, who is cursed? Me. I was. I was. There's three people? You too? Me too. What? You're the only one who wasn't cursed. So we're all competing against one another? So one of us is going to have to pay the price to cure the amulet. And cleanse the wicker men. Oh, shit. You've got to be kidding. There's always only been two, and now there's four of us. I'm not sure about this death challenge, because the last one was just a trick. I never know what to expect. Good luck, guys. Good luck, everyone. What's this? What is this? The last one through the four challenges will be sacrificed by the witches. Okay. The first is the witch's brew. The second is the witch's hat. The third is the bobbing for rotten apples. And the last is maneuvering through their tangled skein without ringing a bell. There's four challenges ahead of us, and the last person to complete all four challenges will be sacrificed to the witches. As someone who's already died once, I am not ready to go back. What could be in this witch's brew? It's not going to be that bad. Begin. Okay. Oh God, this. Is... Holy shit! I'm not kidding you when I say it tasted like literally a rat's ass. Uh, oh my God. Uh, uh, I'm grossed out by the reaction. There's so much bubbly. I'm not used to that. Oh. I got one. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oh. <gasps> So Matt and Joey go through it so quick, they down it, they see their little pentagram, and I'm like, it's just me and Rowing out. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the weirdest noises are coming out of my body. <laughs> oh, please, please stop. <laughs> when it comes to the disc challenge, I am a pro. I've done that for years. Matt, I don't understand. You got it, Joey. I'm barfing in my hair, on my clothes, it's coming out my nose. <sighs> it's in my eye! It is in <sighs> my eye! It's in my eye! I'm not dying again! Oh, somehow, by the grace of God, I finish my ring challenge. Mark, okay. Red. Okay. Oh, yay. Oh, this is... Oh, no. oh my gosh. I cannot keep anything down. <laughs> not dying again! I crawl through, and I'm first to reach the witch's altar. I am safe, thankfully. And I see Ro still on stage one, still looking for the right mug, puking her guts out, and I feel awful. I have makeup on! So I'm thinking, I'm like, is there any way I can, like, part the water and just... Mm. Come on, Manny, you got this! Don't worry about your makeup! Oh! Oh, my God. I'm fighting for my life. I'm getting more and more nervous. I'm seeing my friends move farther and farther ahead, and I'm still drinking. I'm gonna just barf. 
Carry it. Oh. Baby Sips, you can get okay. through it. I got through the hot dogs. You can do it, Ro. Oh, my God. <gasps> don't, don't think about it. Don't think about Bro. it. Oh, God. It's okay. Bro. It's baby oh. Sips. Manny. Oh, Bro. You've been the best friend I could ask for. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Ro. I'll miss you. I love you, Ro. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's nothing we can do. We have to go. Come on, Ro. Ro. There's nothing we can do. Be brave, Ro. Come on. Get up here. It's okay. There's nothing we can do. Come on. Come on. It's heartbreaking to see my best friend just reach such a brutal end like that. We have the amulet. Oh, you did it. So I place the little amulet on the, her forehead, and she's like, oh. and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's living. I'm like, are you okay? Oh my oh. God, you're a babe. I have my life back. You are everyone. Of course. Oh my God. Okay. Maria is so cute, and I'm just so happy that her and her brother are reunited. Oh my I God, I'm reunited. I thought Aww. I would never see you again. That reminded us why we're all here. We're here to help the town. You know, I'm thinking like, okay, we're all dying out here, but we are saving some people, so it's not like we're just dying in vain. Oh my God. Oh, that was so Oh, cool. this is adorable. We finally have someone. Oh, I know. We're really saving this A town. A happy yeah. ending. Well, except for you guys, Rose we death. did that. Other than that, yeah, that's except for Rose death. It's so close. Time is running out. Let's cleanse it. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Okay. You know what? We're magical. Guys, we only have one more artifact left. We're gonna get out of Everlock. Well, three of us are. <laughs>